You ever notice that no matter what you do, there's always some sticky stuff at the back of your cabinet? It like always seeps out of your molasses jar or your jam jar. Well, today I dug all the way to the back of my cabinet to find out about something that I didn't even know that I had, and it is today's WTF. For the third day in a row, we got the Brooklyn Creative League sponsoring WTF. They're an awesome collaborative working space for independent professionals and freelancers in Park Slope, Brooklyn. Check them out online at brooklyncreativeleague.com. So sitting all the way in the back of my cabinet was this bottle of pomegranate syrup just looking me in the eyes, and I didn't know what to do with it. I still kind of don't, so I figured it'd be the perfect thing to explore today for WTF. So to learn about the syrup, I first had to learn about the fruit. Now, pomegranate is the fruit of a fruit-bearing tree that also bears the same name, and it's from Iran natively, though it also grows widely in Azerbaijan, Afghanistan, India, China, and Egypt. The fruit is so old, it was written about in the book of Exodus, and though it has really old ancient roots, it's just starting to make its way into mainstream culture, at least here in the United States. Now we'll get into the pomegranate itself at another time, but suffice it to say the syrup comes from the little seeds that are inside the pomegranate when you crack them open. The syrup is the uh, juice from inside of those seeds that gets melted down with a little sugar into this molasses-like mixture. Since both the syrup and the fruit originate in Persia, I thought it would only be fitting to make a Persian dish. After doing some research, I found a dish called Fezenjan, which is a chicken stew with pomegranate syrup and walnuts. Let's make that. To make Fezenjan, season some skinless chicken thighs with salt, pepper, cardamom, and turmeric. Slice an onion thinly. In a heavy bottom pan, add olive oil, your sliced onions, some salt, and pepper. Keep the temperature low and keep stirring until the onions are caramelized but not burnt. Now push the onions to the side, turn up the heat, and add your chicken. Let it brown on all sides, then take it out and add more chicken. You don't want to crowd the pan. Meanwhile, grind about two cups of walnuts in a food processor. Add them to the chicken along with three cups of chicken stock or water. Cover this and let it simmer for 20 minutes. Now add two-thirds of a cup of pomegranate syrup, three tablespoons sugar, salt and pepper to taste, and let the whole dish simmer uncovered for another 15 to 20 minutes or until the chicken is tender. You can serve this over basmati rice and enjoy. So now that we both know a little bit about pomegranate syrup, I want you to go into your cupboards and find a food that you don't really know about, that you've been holding on to for way too long, and post it in the comments. We'll turn it into a future episode of WTF.